Today on Rift Beards and Gear, we check out the all new Pro X series headphones from Bear Dynamic. Bear Dynamic are a staple in the audio world, and as far as headphones go, you can find them from the home studio all the way up to professional, pro, very expensive studios. And there's a reason for that because Bear Dynamic headphones, in my opinion, are some of the best sounding and most comfortable headphones around. And the new Pro X series is no exception. Now, before we go any further, you can consider this a sponsored video as Bear Dynamic have asked me to show you guys these headphones, but all thoughts and opinions are mine. So today we're talking about the DT700 Pro X and the DT900 Pro X headphones from Bear Dynamic. Now these are brand new and they improve upon a lot of the things that a lot of people may have wanted to see improved over the years in their classic DT line of headphones, myself included. And these share a lot of features, so I'm going to be talking about them simultaneously and then we're going to split them off and talk about what's different about these two models. Now the DT700 and 900 Pro X headphones feature a 48 ohm driver design. This means these can be driven from pretty much everything from a mobile device to a standard audio interface and a home stereo, whatever you wanna to listen to, these things do not require a ton of juice in order to use them properly. Now, both these headphones are the over the ear design, which I find very, very comfortable. The ear pads on both of these are the classic Bear Dynamic felt feeling they're just they're literally pillows on your head i just love these these are some of the most comfortable headphones i have ever worn so under my desk here i use a set of dt 880 pro headphones now these are an older model and the one thing i wasn't ever super stoked about was the fact that if you damaged the cable you basically had to buy a new set of headphones or send them in to get repaired now this has happened to me, and this is my second set of 880s because my last one uh, got run over and the cable was beyond repair. So this isn't really a problem with the new Pro X series because they come with two different lengths of detachable mini XLR cables. I love that. Now something else that the DT700 and 900 Pro X headphones also share is the ability to replace the both the headphone pad and the ear cups. This is very, very nice. This is something that my DT880s could do as well, but this is a much more cleaner, refined design than the older models. I really like this design. Now, what are the differences between the DT900 and the DT700? Well, the DT700 is a closed back design, whereas the 900 is an open back design. Now, the 700 are ideal for if you're traveling and you don't really want the sound to bleed out and, you know, like on a bus or a plane or something like that. Now, the 900 is definitely suited for, you know, a little bit more of an isolated situation if you're in some sort of editing suite or home studio. And if a little bit of uh, leakage, external leakage is okay, the 900 is gonna be what you want. Now let's talk about the sound of both of these headphones. The 900 for me are very open and they're very clear. They're not overly crisp and also they have a really nice low end. The DT 700s are gonna have not quite the crispiness in the top end, but they're also going to be much more enjoyable to listen to, in my opinion, for casual music listening. Whereas the 900s I would definitely be using for mix referencing and things like that. Now, if you have an older set of Bayer Dynamic headphones, only you can answer if you are in the market to upgrade. However, I will note that the 880s, the low end isn't as clear and robust as the DT900 Pro Xs. And the DT700s sound very, very similar to the 900 Pro Xs. However, um, I would say the 700s are gonna be definitely for more of a listening to music casually or for fun, in my opinion. If you are into critical listening or you know editing voice work or something like that, I would definitely gravitate towards the 900s. And lastly, the DT700 Pro X and the DT900 Pro X both retail for $299 here in the States. Uh, the 900 for me is the winner between these two if I had to choose, um, but really the $300 price point is a very good deal, especially considering the detachable uh, audio cords that you get with it. 
as well as the high quality pouch and the eighth inch to quarter inch adapters. Very cool. I will link down below in the description if you'd like to know more information about the Pro X series headphones. And with that, you've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. If you liked the video you just watched, please consider subscribing. And if you wanna further support me and what I do, consider using some of the affiliate links down below in the description of this video. Go on over to Sweetwater, buy yourself something and help me out at the same time. It's a win-win for both of us.